So guys, today I'm coming at you with my makeup decluttering video. So I've actually never done a proper makeup collection video. Well, I have, but years and years ago, maybe like six years ago or something, it has changed completely. And um, since then I haven't filmed an updated one just because I don't really have a proper makeup storage organization to really give you guys advice. I quite enjoy watching decluttering videos. I find them almost therapeutic. So I thought I'm gonna do one myself and today I'm not gonna go through my entire collection. Maybe just like part of it, but we'll see. Maybe I will decide to do the whole thing. So yeah, this is my dressing table with an old creaky chair and I've had this for, I don't know, 10 years or even over 10 years and I really like it. I was thinking of purchasing a new dressing table because I feel like I need more storage but for the moment it's fine. On this side I keep my jewelry, like my most worn pieces. So the hand is from Thailand, the golden box is from Sanuke, our interior shop and then this beaded velvet one is from Hausmann in Riga, Latvia. Then in here I have miscellaneous things like deodorants, moisturizers, SPFs and whatnot. Um, here we have some more of my jewelry in this like um, glass H&M case. My hair oil that I'm using at the moment, a moisturizer, some lip balms, a compact mirror. And here I keep all of my most used lipsticks that I grab on a daily basis my lip liners, eyeliners. Then we've got my makeup brushes that desperately need a wash. So I'll have to sort that out later. It's one of the things I hate doing the most. Like who doesn't hate washing makeup brushes? Then here I've got my native coconut natural deodorant, all my mascaras. Um, now this little mirror is from Tiger, I believe. I actually use it for mascara application or eyeliner because I need a mirror close up to my face. Here I've got little knickknacks hanging, my time turner, my um, tassel from gradation hat. Apparently I graduated in 2014. Whoa, time is flying. Uh, so here I've got all my, found well not all, but my most used foundations, beauty blenders. So here I keep my hair tools. I'm not gonna show you my entire dresser. Nail products and travel size mini products. Here's majority of my makeup, random bits and bobs, and then like makeup bags here. By the way, I just wanna put a disclaimer out there before you guys start saying, why the hell do you need so much makeup? This is excessive. And I do understand that completely. No normal person needs this much makeup, but beauty and fashion is part of my job. So I do get sent a lot of products. Luckily, I don't have to buy a lot of them. I would say like, 80% of my collection were PR samples. Um, so yeah, this is actually the reason I have so much stuff. That I didn't just go and buy everything myself. So yeah, I hope that explains the amount of beauty products. So, tum ta da da This is basically the makeup that I use myself. Then I have a couple boxes of products I don't use and then the rest of my makeup is in my studio. I don't even wanna think about organizing that. It gives me anxiety. So, um, okay, here I've got a basket full of lip products. It's, you know, like a jumble of lip glosses, lipsticks, lip balms. Here I've got all my face products. And believe it or not, I always find what I need. So I've got all my highlighters, bronzers, concealers, blushers in here. And then here I've got all my eyeshadows. But again, all my palettes, like my Naked, Sigma, all those palettes are in my studio. So this is literally the makeup that I use on myself on, you know, like everyday basis. I like to have a variety, let's say. So I brought all of my lip products and eye products here on a clean surface. So we're gonna sort it through. Let's pour my lip products out. My lip liners, I think there might be some eyeliners in the mix as well. 
So yeah, I'm just gonna go in random order and then I'm gonna make some piles um, of products that I'm... I think I'm gonna put the products I'm keeping in here, back in here. Products I'm giving away to like family members and friends. I usually give them a box and let them have anything they want. Then I'll have a pile of products that I like but I might not use very often. Okay, this Lancome lipstick I love. La Solu Rouge in Nuit et Jour. Keeping... Uh, I have some unopened rosy for autograph products. Definitely keeping those. This Dior lipstick is super old, so it should probably be thrown out. I've had it for years and years. I absolutely adore it. I believe it's discontinued, so... Should I keep it just for memories? I don't know. So this is like a maybe pile. Rosy lipstick. Keeping. I'm keeping all my rosy products, so let's just separate them so yeah all my rosy for autograph lipsticks and uh, like what are these mm, like glossy lipsticks some of them are brand new but yeah i just love her line so much and i love these i think these are called lip glossies supermodel smile is my favorite it's like a crayon super natural and gorgeous so, yeah, keeping all of those some more <laughs> Um, Tiny Wear Lipstick in Bear, no, Pink Cocoa. Adore this color. I have loads of similar shades, but I still, it's one of those shades that I reach for, so I know I will use it. These, I have two of the same mini Clinique Pop lipsticks in Nude Pop. Absolutely incredible. This one is brand new. This one I'm using. Yeah. Love those, keeping them. My Clinique Chubby Sticks, absolutely love them, keeping them. I have some more on my, you know, like a little container of my everyday product. So yeah, Bountiful Blush Curvious Caramel. Um, these are my lesser used ones, but they're nudes and you know, I love Chubby Sticks. Now, this one I might have to give away, Tiny Burr Lip Gloss in Lunch Date. I really, really like it, but I don't know. I just don't reach for it very often. I guess I'm more of a lipstick or tinted lip balm kind of person. These are... Uh, oh, I had some more. I don't know where they went. Lancome Lip Lover Lip Glosses. I love them. I use them as lip balms. So, yeah. Um, there's another one. I'm keeping those. Um... Rouge and Love from Lancome. This is a really nice peach shade, but will I use it? It's like a tinted lip balm. I don't know, I don't reach for it very often, but... Um, okay, I think I'm gonna keep that. This is empty, I don't know why I still have it here. Well, I guess I tried scraping it out. I actually might get a couple of uses still out of this. So I'm gonna try and keep this by my bedside table, try to use it up. It's Laura Mercy lip balm. Love it, it's one of my favorite lip balms. Okay, now these um, Lancome matte shakers. I have all of the uh, juicy shakers and I have a few matte shakers. A lot of them I gave away already, but I kept these two colors. I think I'm gonna keep this bright orange for summer. And this one I'm gonna give away. It's like a very nice neutral color, but I just don't reach for it very often. I don't know why, they're great and they last for ages. I think my mom is gonna love this. It's very much her color, so I'm gonna give it to her. Oh, love these Lancome lipsticks. This is so beautiful. I don't wanna give it away, but I don't use it on an everyday basis, so it's like in a less use box. These are also absolutely incredible lipsticks. S definitely keeping those. These are Estee Lauder and they're all like reds and pinks. They are just the best matte red lipsticks ever. I had especially this one. It's called Bar Red. Yep, Bar Red. It's I think it's my all-time favorite red lipstick. So yeah, I'm Keeping those 100%. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of some other reds probably that I don't use very often. MAC lipstick in 
um, hug me. I used to love it, but I don't really wear it anymore. It's like it's a pretty nice like everyday quite sheer nude, but I'm gonna give it away. Um, Dior. Oh, this is really pretty. Again, I don't wear it very often, but I should use it as a lip balm. It's very glittery though. It's uh, Dior Addict Lipstick in Rose Deja B. But I like it, so I'm keeping that. This one, uh, super clicky from NYX. It's a matte lipstick. I really like the color, but it makes my teeth look yellow. So probably giving that away. Um, okay, these um, Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink. The products, they're amazing. Like seriously, super good. Lasting power is insane. So I'm gonna keep the nude one and and the dark one as well. I had all of the colors, but I gave them away. So these are the ones I'm left with. Um, now I have these two purples. This is L'Oreal uh, Matte Lip Paint. And I kept them for Paris Fashion Week because purple is really in at the moment. I wanted to wear a purple lipstick, but I didn't end up doing it. Although these are super cool colors. Oh, this one is amazing. So I think I'm gonna keep these again in the box for like photo shoots or more like fun makeup if you know I wanna have that option. Now these are great, but again I don't reach for them very often. I think my mom might like these. These are YSL, what are they called? Um Vinyl creams, so they're like thick super pigmented lip glosses So I have a peach one and then like a, a really nice corally one So although I they're super nice and they're great for summer for like your beach bag I'm not sure these are maybe and I think I'm giving these to my mom. I love these two um, Laura Mercier lipstick in Spice Rose I love this Maybelline lipstick in um, Romantic Rose. It's gorgeous. I mean, all of my lipsticks are pretty much the same shade. To me, they're all different, but I know that to someone else watching, these will look like, you know, the same shades of nude. By the way, it looks like I'm keeping everything, but I go through my lipsticks quite frequently. I always tend to give away the colors I don't use like right away. When I know I'm not gonna use a shade, I give it away. So these are pretty much the ones that I, I like. <laughs> okay, oh, another rosy one. This is Revlon. Do you guys remember these? Um, Revlon Color Burst Lip Butters. These were all the rage back in the day on YouTube and I actually got sent this by Elle Fowler in our swap. Really wanted this shade. It's called Creme Brulee and it's amazing. But I don't wear it very often. It's like a tinted nude lip balm. I mean, it's years and years old but it's such a pretty color. <laughs> And the, the scent didn't change, so I guess I'm keeping it. Um, sugar, lip treatment in honey, keeping that. I love, <clears throat> I love fresh. Some MAC lipsticks. Ooh, Lady Danger, again, one of my favorite reds, keeping that. Velvet Teddy, gorgeous lipstick, absolutely keeping. Um, <clears throat> sorry. This one I haven't worn in ages. It's a really old lipstick. I'm throwing this away because I think it's too old to wear. It's NARS Pago Pago. It's like a nude with shimmer. Has to go away. Notting Hill Nude. I love it, but I have tons of similar shades and I feel like it's super old, so I'm also getting rid of it. This is my Bobbi Brown lipstick in Honeysuckle. A moisturizing nude. Such a gorgeous color, definitely keeping. This is also super old. Do you guys remember my old school videos where I used to always wear this? Uh, YSL Sheer Candy Tinted Lip Balm in number five. This is how much I have left. It's pretty much gone. A couple of uses and it will be done. So yeah, I'm gonna try and use it up together with this Laura Mercier Lip Balm. Then I've got this Clinique 
Lipstick, it's brand new. I've never worn it, so I think it's a sign that I will not wear it, although it's so beautiful. I have to give away someone. I think my cousin Diva will love it. Then I have this Body Shop Lip Scrub. It's like minty lip scrub with, you know, it has some granules in it. It's good, I like it. So I'm gonna keep that also. Try to use it up. Now these uh, NYX lingeries, they have such a great lasting power. And I really like these shades. Uh, this one is Teddy and this one is A-Line. They're quite dark nudes, like browns. Um, but they dry out my lips like hell. I mean, I, I cannot really wear them. They're great for pictures or photo shoots, but you know, I would not wear them on a daily basis. So they're going in this box of my, of the products that I use less often. Now these are my Carez lip balms. Um, I've had them for such a long time. However, they still smell incredible. They all have different scents. This mango one smells like juicy mango. So I have pomegranate, mango, um, and wild rose. I also had guava and jasmine, and those two were my favorite. So yeah, I'm still keeping those. Um, this is my Guerlain lipstick. It's extremely heavy. It's a Rouge G lipstick. I remember I wanted to treat myself to a very beautiful, luxurious nude lipstick. And look at that. It has a mirror. Like, I love the packaging. And it's such a gorgeous nude. Uh, it's called Galien, I believe. Does it say here? Um, yeah, I, I believe it's called Galien. And I love it. I'm keeping it for sure. Um, this Chanel lip gloss, Rouge Allure in Sensuel, is a really beautiful nude lip gloss, but I just don't really wear it. So, you know what, I'm gonna try and use it up. Now, I have tons of lip liners, but they all live in my studio, so these are the ones I tend to use. Um, L'Oreal Beige Anu, love. Gigi Hadid, uh, the one that matches um, this red lipstick, love. Chanel um, lip liner in Beige Innocent. I don't like that it's quite drying on the lips, but it's great under lipsticks. Uh, Essence lip liners, amazing. Soft Rose, they don't do these in gray caps anymore. And in the nude, oh, this one is fantastic. It's my second one already. Um, Rimmel Tiramisu, another great one. Oh, this one is amazing. It's Arcancil lip liner in bamboo. This is a 90s supermodel favorite lip liner. It's a French brand, Arcancil. I've actually learned about it um, through a model, Jasmine Labon. She talked about this lip liner. Uh, Dior lip liner in... Um, Linen. These are two Kiko lip liners. I like them. Uh, red Lancome lip liner. Just a good one to have on hand. And Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. An ultimate classic. And then a Burberry lip liner. I had two of them. This is in Rosewood. I gave one away because I don't like these Burberry lip liners. They leave this line on the inside of your lips and looks very unflattering. But I just adore the design. I love that it's a square lip liner. But I'm giving it away. But this is what we have so far. Lip liners. Products that I use less often. Products that I will try to use up. Um, products that I'm giving away. And then these I'm getting rid of. And then all of these I'm actually keeping. So did I do a good job? Probably not really. I still have a ton of products. But there's a little bit of change, right? You know what? I have a feeling that this department is gonna be okay because I've looked through these not too long ago. So I think I will keep the majority of products. Just warning here in advance. Oh, this is a face product. Okay, so let's rummage through them all. Tanya Burr palette. This is actually a palette I'm gonna give away because I moved on to my Charlotte Tilbury one. However, this one is really, really good. Peachy Glow from Tanya Burr. 
and especially if you're a beginner in makeup or you just want something quick and easy for everyday makeup these are all actually fantastic products this is very similar to Laguna from NARS similar to Orgasm from NARS and then um very nice golden highlight but this is for face not for my eyes so I don't know why it's in here but yeah I'm giving this away maybe to my cousin or something oh this is a gorgeous palette as well tiniest Hollywood eye palette I think I'm gonna keep it just because I really like this golden coin color it's such a nice shade of gold and um, yeah these two are also very nice colors so I'm keeping this one um, all my rosy palettes of course keeping those I mean I love Rosie's makeup so no question about that this is my favorite palette from Rosie it's called I feel like a million dollars and this color here this like rose gold color champagne it's it's absolutely fantastic just this all over your eyelid and you're good to go and this one is an incredible inner corner highlight then I've got uh, Copper Gold Rush. This is my second favorite. Oh my god, these shades are incredible. This is my like evening eye palette. And then these are my less used ones. Um, just because this one is like a cool toned one and I'm into warm shadows. Bali Slipper, but it's still super pretty. I love this pink, champagne pink. And then this one is Magic. Oh, this is a bronzer, sorry, this is not an eye palette. Love this bronzer, absolutely keeping it, but I don't know why it's here. Oh my god, this is probably my all, not probably, it is my all time favorite palette, Charlotte Tilbury's um, Legendary Muse eye palette was limited edition thing, insanely beautiful packaging and incredible shadows inside. This is me in an eyeshadow palette. Like these all kinds of warm shades of gold and rose gold. Oh, this is heaven. I mean, I adore it. Lancome palette. This one, to be honest, I only really like these two colors. This one is so beautiful. It's again like a rose gold color. Very much my style, but I feel like my mom would love this as well. Like these are all very much her color so I might give this to my mom although I love this palette so much but I feel like I have other shadows um, okay this is my MAC palette that I made myself so we've got I think this is ERA all that glitters absolutely love it wedge which is a perfect crease color and then vanilla um, these are my favorites so I'm keeping that now this is Maryam palette, who is a Turkish actress and I got to try some of her makeup. But these are super intense, like metallic shadows. They're very beautiful though, so um, I'm gonna keep it. You know what, this is like a golden goddess type of makeup. Um, okay, then we've got this Bobbi Brown palette. I actually got this on a whim and I don't reach for it very often. Mini lipstick inside, like a nice deep rose color. So it's a really nice idea, great for traveling, super luxurious, this leather packaging. But as I said, I don't really, I mean, I love this bronze color and this kind of dusty rose, but I don't reach for it very often. So I think I'm gonna offer this to my aunt. I think she might like this so yeah I think I'm giving this away this Bobbi Brown chocolate palette it's super old and it's discontinued but I adore this palette it has the most perfect crease color and then this kind of slightly shimmery brown a gold they're all so beautiful I'm keeping this for sure this is Marc Jacobs Lolita palette again a really beautiful selection of neutrals especially these shimmery ones I don't reach for it very often, but when I do, I always go like, oh, why don't I use this palette more often? So I'm keeping it. They're all beautiful neutrals. I adore this packaging as well. Then we've got my super grubby, sticky and like dirty NARS 
eyeshadows. So this is all about Eve, my favorite eyeshadow duo. I've used up one of the shadows completely and another one is, you know, on its way out. And I have this other one, but the packaging is just so disgusting. I should depot these shadows somewhere. But this is a brand new one, all about Eve. This is like my favorite eyeshadow duo. So, you know what, I'm keeping those. I have two Burberry shadows. These are the best, some of the best quality eyeshadows out there, in my opinion. So I've got Rosewood, which is a taupe color. It's really pretty, but I don't wear taupey or gray or cool tone shadows anymore. So I'm gonna give this to my mom. She's gonna love it. The Burberry shadows are the most buttery shadows ever. They're amazing. And this is Almond. I'm keeping this. It's incredibly beautiful, matte, brown crease color. I should use it more often because it's stunning. Now this is, I have a couple of those. I don't know where is the other one. Laura Mercier shadow. This one is in cashmere. Matte, dusty, rose, slightly taupey color. I really like this for the crease, so I'm keeping it. My color pop shadows, I was kindly sent by a subscriber as well as all my rosy products. I was sent by a subscriber, so thank you so much, girls. Uh, is it drying up? I feel like it's kind of drying up. I love these color pop cream shadows. They're so beautiful. So I have, I love this. It's called, I love this. Um, this one is fringe, which is a beautiful shimmery gold. And this one is, I have to make sure I close them really tightly so they don't dry out. This one is my favorite. It's called Birthday Girl and it's the most beautiful shimmery bronze cream shadow you will ever see. <laughs> I love this stuff. This is my favorite uh, inner corner highlight from Gemma Kid. Um, her makeup line doesn't exist anymore and it's a very old shadow but it's, it's the best for inner corner and it's called Creme. Like, it's so intense and just, yeah, like a perfect champagne. So I'm keeping that for sure. My MAC eyeshadow. This is a shadow I probably started my YouTube channel with. I used to wear it all the time. This was the only shadow I owned, really. And it's almost gone. It's Patina from MAC. It's incredibly beautiful, but something is happening to it. Um, I'm throwing it away. Um, H&M cream shadows are so underrated. They are incredible and these colors are insane. I love them. So this one is called Champers, my favorite. And well, this one is my favorite too. This one is called Countess and it's like a peachy gold. Oh goodness. These are perfect for no makeup makeup days or like super quick makeup just do it with your finger and you're good to go. Now, this is a recent purchase from Dior, again, for my inner corner. It's called Lune and it's like a pearl color. Love that. This is L'Oreal Single Shadow. It's called Matte and it's a really nice matte, uh, kind of peachy color. It's a great transitional shade. So I'm keeping that. Um, now, this one I actually bought, but I I don't think I've used it. I, well, I've used it maybe once. I don't really reach for it. It's such a cute, pretty palette. It's called Golden Girl. I was so happy with it when I got it because these are, again, like my type of colors. But I don't know why, I just don't gravitate towards it. Um, so I'm giving it away to my mom or my auntie or maybe my granny. She loves these colors. So that's that. Tanya Burr pigment in uh, creme brulee. It's a really pretty pigment, but I'm gonna put it in a box of products I reach for less often. Okay, um, what shall we do next? Let's do like um, eyeliners and cream shadows. So rosy for autograph. This is amazing. It's called doesn't say the names of them. I believe this is Foxy or something. 
um, this is like an amethyst color. I'm keeping both of those. They're great for like a smoky eye or evening makeup. Just blending it out with your fingers, super quick and easy. And then by Terry Cream Eyeshadow in Frozen Quartz. It's a beautiful rose gold, very shimmery. So yeah, I'm keeping those. And a bunch of eye pencils. I don't really use eye pencils anymore, so I don't know why I still have so many. Oh, this is a Bobbi Brown Matte Cream Shadow in Sand Dune. Like a perfect no makeup makeup uh, kind of color, love it. This is another. Oh, this one I actually really don't like. It's a Bobbi Brown as well. And it's um, golden pink, but it's just horrible. It creases like hell. It's it's not shimmery. It's sparkly. Uh, I don't know. I really dislike it. So, getting rid of that. Um, okay. So my eye pencils. Monsieur Big from Lancome. It's an eyeliner. I think I'm keeping it. I'm not mad about it. I don't like these marker liners, but. You know what, I'm, I'm gonna keep it. I've got Lancome Art Liner and Grandiose Liner. Grandiose is my favorite black eyeliner ever. I really like the applicator and this gorgeous packaging. And the Art Liner is actually in like very vibrant purple. It's gonna be perfect for like photo shoots and stuff. So I'm keeping those. Chanel uh, eyeliner in espresso. It's a waterproof one. I have only this much left, so I'm gonna try and use it up. Although I don't really use, as I said, eyeliners anymore. Givenchy waterproof eyeliner in this is like a bronzy color. Very similar to Teddy from MAC, which is probably my favorite eyeliner. Both are like the same. Like, I have a lot of bronze liners. They're my favorite to wear, like chocolatey bronzy colors. So you know what, I'm gonna keep both. Probably get rid of this, I don't really wear it. It's a gold eyeliner from Essence, giving this away. Next up we have this bourgeois eyeliner. I, it's in rose gold and it's completely gone. There's no pencil inside. Used to use this all the time. Going to a thrash bin now. Um, okay, Body Shop Bronze Eyeliner, I'm gonna give this away because, you know, these two are pretty much the same. Um, Charlotte Tilbury Black Eyeliner, really don't like it, it doesn't last, it moves, it disappears, it smudges, not good at all, so I'm gonna probably give it to someone, but I know they will not like it as well, so I don't know. So I should probably throw it away, but... You know, I'm still gonna ask if people want to try it. Um, Yves Saint Laurent Black Waterproof Liner, probably one of the best. And I'm gonna keep it just in case because I feel like you need to have one good black waterproof liner. This Dior one, you know, I used to wear black eyeliner all the time, can you tell? But this one is almost gone, I'm throwing it away. Also almost gone, my Maybelline Master Shape Eyebrow Pencil. I like it, I'm gonna use it up. Love this Dior uh, White Eyeliner, keeping it for sure. This Givenchy Eyebrow Pencil is really, really nice. It's like a super powdery, it's almost, it almost feels like eyeshadow, uh, but it's too dark for me, so I'm gonna give it away. Um, I got this Sisley eyebrow pencil, but this one is actually, I don't know, this one is on the opposite, it's too light for me. But I'm still gonna give it a shot, I'm not gonna get rid of it, and if it doesn't work, I'm gonna give it away. Um, this is a Pupa, like, pearl color pencil. It's really nice for inner corner, so I'm gonna keep that, need to sharpen it. And then this is Pupa Flesh Toned Eyeliner, also super nice for waterline. So what do we have here? Mascaras. Okay, let's go through them all, but I feel like I'm gonna keep most of them. I really like these mascaras. Um, L'Oreal Paradise Ecstatic. I like this mascara a lot, but I don't feel like I absolutely love it, so it's going to my mom. My, I think these are my all-time favorite mascaras. So 100% keeping them, repurchasing them, love them so much. Armani Ecstasy Mascara number one. 
um, and then Clinique Lash High Impact Lash Elevating Mascara, fantastic for length. So these are super lengthening mascaras, and Lancome Monsieur Big, very dramatic, great mascara. Now, oh, this one I think I will give away. Uh, Why sell the shock? I like it, but I feel like it's a little bit clumpy. I don't know. I'm gonna give it away. This is a brown uh, Armani Eccentrico mascara. I'm gonna keep it. My Dior Lash Primer, cannot live without it. My new by Terry um, mascara, which has two different um, brush ends. You just twist here. Love, love, love it. New favorite. Um, Dior Pump and Volume Mascara. I like it for when I want a dramatic lash look. It's really clumpy, so I have to use a lash comb to separate my lashes, but I'm gonna keep it. Uh, this is Smashbox um, 24 hour eyeshadow primer. I don't really wear eyeshadow primer, only for when I know I absolutely want my makeup to last you know, all day or like photo shoots or whatever, like evening makeup, I will use it. It's an extremely good primer, so I'm keeping that. And this Pupa, um, almost like Touche Ecla, it's like a brightening concealer. But if, oh, it's, it has dried up, so I'm throwing this away, it's quite nice. And Lancome Grandiose Mascara, I love the eyeliner, but I don't like grandiose mascara. And look what happens to it. I don't know why, but look at that. Like either the stopper breaks or something. Sometimes it would be okay, but sometimes I pull it out and it's just this gloopy mess. So I don't think there's a really a way for me to fix it. I'm gonna throw it away. Although this is the most beautiful mascara packaging I've ever laid my eyes on. So yeah, getting rid of that. Keep my mascaras in here. All my eyeliners can go next to my lip liners. Nice and organized. These are the products I'm throwing away. Oh, these are my cream uh, stick shadows. Going in there. The eyeshadows I'm keeping. And then all of these are the ones that I'm giving away to my family members as well as this palette. So yeah, I think, um, well done.